we are back with the second part of this assignment three. So I think as of now, this will be the last part of our Learn to Code series. So definitely check out the playlist if you've missed anything. Additionally, there is some setup required for this, which I did in the last video. I'll have it in the cards. You can just watch the beginning of that if you um, have not already seen that video, but just make sure that you follow those steps. Or alternatively, you can just follow along yourself using the steps in this image reference at the beginning. So that's there as well. And of course, as always, the links will be in the description box. So today we are writing a function called find flames in the file forestfire.py, which again, starter code, check the link in the description box that highlights the areas where forest fire is active. Um, um, it's saying our job is to detect all of the sufficiently red pixels in the image, which are indicative of where fires are burning in the image. Um, then they're talking about what we did in class, but of course we were not in class. When you detect a sufficiently red pixel, you set its red value to 255 and its green and blue values to 0. This will highlight the pixel by making it entirely red. For all of the pixels, convert them to their grayscale equivalent, which basically is the average of the red, green, and blue values. Cool. And then it says, once I highlight the areas that are on fire and grayscale everything else, I should see the image shown on the right, like the image below. Okay, so this looks pretty similar to what we did the last time. So what we did before was we had a four pixel in image. And then for each pixel, we do different things. So in this case, the question is, is the image sufficiently red? So let's just actually do this. It's actually a good exercise. So we can say if sufficiently red, I can actually write a function that says that, and I can pass in the pixel. And then if it's sufficiently red, um, we are going to color red else grayscale. I'm just doing this to like show like an exercise and kind of decomposition. Um, so we've done similar things before, but basically it has all these things in red because I have not written any functions that match these names. So I'll do that, right? So let's say def sufficiently red and how did they tell us it says it's sufficiently red um, if the red value is greater than or equal to the average of the pixels three RGB values okay so that means I need the average so how do I calculate an average I basically add everything up and then I divide by the number of things which in this case is three so average equals pixel dot red plus pixel dot green plus pixel dot blue and then all of this is being divided by three Okay, and then it says if the red value is greater than or equal to the average. So basically, then I just need to return pixel dot red is greater than or equal to average. And this is just going to return true or false um, based on this. Now, I actually just thought about this because I'm pretty sure we're going to need this average again later. So it may not actually be the best decision to break this down the way that we've broken it down. Um, but I could do this a few different ways. I can actually return multiple things at once. So since I do believe I'm going to need the average later, I can actually return two different things at once. I can return basically my true false value, and I can also return the average. Now they're telling me I don't need parentheses, so I'll just go ahead and remove that. Um, and then this is going to be if sufficiently red pixel um and then zero but the thing about here is that actually no i'm actually gonna change this because now it doesn't really make sense so i'm just changing a bunch of kind of formatting just to make it make sense because here I just want to know if it's red or not I don't actually care what the average is in this if condition okay so since this is returning two values I only need one of them here so I'm just going to break that out I'm just going to have a red and I'm going to have average and that's going to equal the two values that I'm returning back again so now here I can just change this to be if red then I'll color red the pixel 
Otherwise, I'll grayscale the pixel and I'll pass in the average. Now, in this case, I want to change the name of this because this name doesn't really make sense anymore because I'm not just checking if it's red. I'm also getting the average. So I'm just going to call this analyze because that's what I thought of. And so it's asking me if I want to do this. And of course, so I've changed this to analyze. I changed this to analyze. And now I need to write my other functions. I need a def color red. And then they told me how to color a pixel red. They said, you said it's red value to 255 and it's green and blue values to zero. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to say pixel.red equals 255, pixel.green equals zero, pixel.blue equals zero. Okay, and then I need to write my grayscale function. And here they told me, they said I can grayscale a pixel by summing together its red, green, and blue values divided by three, finding the average, which we already did, and then setting the pixels red, green, and blue values to all have the same average value. Okay, so that's easy. I just need to do pixel.red equals average, pixel.green equals average, and pixel.blue equals average. And at this point, I'm not seeing any warnings or errors. So let's run this and see if it works. Run, run, forest fire. Um, we're going to press enter for the default. And it looks like it did. But of course, we got to check as always. So this is what it was before. Cool. And this is what it is now. Looks like we are good. So that is it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.